Choose an appropriate browser and type python.org in here. You'll then be presented with this page and you can see there are two places in which you can click on to download. Choose one of them and you'll be presented with two separate lists, one for Python 3.3 and one for 2.7. I want this one here because I'm working in Windows, so I'm going to click onto that. And when I do so, what you can see is down here it shows me that the actual installer is being downloaded. So I wait for that to actually download and then we'll see what we do next. Well here you can see I've located the file that's been downloaded and we can see it's this one here, Python 3.3.2 and what you do, you double click onto that and when you double click onto that the actual installation process will start. And the first thing I'm presented with is this and it's saying do you wish to run this and I do so I just click on to run and then it says Right, we're going to install and you'd be presented with this and it's just a question now of clicking next each time and I would recommend you go with all of these default settings so here it's asking you to choose your own directory don't bother allow it to choose it for you and just keeping clicking next we then come to this which says please wait while the installer install Python 3.3.2 this may take several minutes now we don't want to be sitting here watching that happen so I'll pause till it gets to the next stage here we can see it's continuing to install here it's telling us the status it's creating some folders and we continue to wait for it to go through all of this process here and as soon as it does that we will eventually come here it goes again it's quickly copying new files across now and it will eventually get to this and you just simply click on finish and that's it Python has now been installed to check it's installed go to all programs go to the Python 3.3 check the first one then click on it and you will see that you will get the Python shell here appearing I'm going to shut that down I'm going to go back now to all programs go to Python 3.3 again and on this occasion I'm going to choose the command line version of the software and you can see that that is working correctly so now we know Python is installed appropriately